The Iranian Armed Forces continue their massive military drills in southern Iran. On Sunday, an Iranian naval patrol aircraft warned extra-regional warships during the maneuvers to leave the area. The commander of Iran's navy, Rear Admiral Habibullah Sayyadi, says the drills demonstrate Iran's defense capabilities, thanks to its advanced military technology and sophisticated domestic weaponry. He underscored that the maneuver does not mean that Iran is feeling a threat from the outside. Here now is a report. It is the largest air, ground and sea military drill ever conducted by the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The war games dubbed Mohammad Rasulullah held in 2.2 million square kilometers of Iran's southeast at the coast of the Sea of Oman continued for the fourth day. The military exercise was followed by a number of new experiences for the Iranian army. For the first time, Iran's Tarek heavy submarines engaged in mine-laying operations aimed at securing Iran's coastal line against the penetration of hypothetical enemy. Mine-sweeping operations formerly conducted by Navy vessels were carried out by the Navy's RH helicopters for the first time. Iran's first goal in conducting this drill is to boost the military capability of its naval forces, ground forces, air forces and air defense forces, as well as enhancing coordination among different branches of the military in order to face any possible threat. The drill also dealt with the intrusion of two foreign Navy vessels to the maneuver area near the Strait of Hormoz. Navy aircraft issued warning signals leading the warships, one of them American, out of the range of Iranian missiles. Accurate targeting of floating objects by Maverick rockets on F-4 fighters, as well as the successful launch of modified Sukhoi-24 rockets towards targets at sea, were among the operations that were successfully wrapped up by Iran's army. Commander of the Iranian Navy told Press TV that by holding the drill, Iran does not see any potential threat. The final goal is to warn extra-regional countries that with the Iranian Navy present, there is no need for foreign intervention to maintain peace and security in this region. The Iranian army, which already carries out the experience of an eight-year war with Iraq from 1980 to 1988, holds annual military exercises with the aim of upgrading its defense potentials. This is the first time that the Iranian army is holding such a wide-scale military drill. It is an exclusive opportunity for the army's air, ground and naval forces to practice the application of homemade weapons, in addition to weapons that have been modified by Iranian experts in a completely simulated war. I'm Umehti Kazemi, Press TV, the port city of Josk, at the coast of the Oman Sea. Well, I believe we're going to join Amir Mehdi Kazmi himself, who is joining us live now from JASC for the latest on today's drills. Amir, what has been happening today? Well, uh, today we are witnessing the uh, fifth day of the Muhammad Rasulullah uh, War Games, which is considered as the largest ever military drill conducted by the Iranian uh, ground, sea, and uh, air force of the Iranian army. Of course, we are uh, we have already been updated uh, by three uh, uh, major developments in today's drill that include the uh, uh, launch, the successful launch of the Nur and Nas cruise missiles, which have been, uh, according to the Iranian army, completely built and designed by Iranian engineers, hitting successfully hitting their targets from land to sea. And uh, the other development includes the inauguration of uh, SH-3D uh, uh, torpedo-laying helicopters that uh, intercepted hypothetical enemies and at the same time uh, uh, submarines, rather, at sea. They launched torpedoes and successfully managed to hit the hypothetical uh, uh, submarines of enemies at sea. Of course, it is worth mentioning that this uh, has taken place for the very first time and officially the uh, uh, torpedo laying helicopters of Iran have now uh, come into operation, have become operational and ready to, uh, to protect the uh, uh, coastal line of the Islamic Republic. The third uh, development also uh, includes uh, the uh, operation of an integral aeronautical anti-aircraft radar system which actually sends signals to the Iranian Air Force 
In this case, Iranian jet fighters managed to successfully intercept hypothetical enemy targets using this uh, integral and uh, um, aeronautical uh, radar detecting system and have managed to uh, uh, successfully target uh, uh, different targets at sea and on land and in the air. Back to you, Abba. Okay, Amir, thanks very much for that detailed update. That was Amir Mehdi Kazmi, Press TV's correspondent, who is giving us the update on the continuing military drills by the Islamic Republic of Iran.